Welcome back for another Tuesday Thoughts video. I'm Nick Ward, president with Ward Laboratories. And today we're gonna to talk about uh, starter versus pop-up fertilizer. So when we think about uh, fertilizer applications with the planter, we generally think about kind of two different things, a, a pop-up or a starter, and how are they different, how are they the same? Well, we're both applying at the time of planting, but specifically a pop-up is looking at probably a little bit of a lower rate uh, close proximity or with the seed or in the seed trench uh, versus a starter is usually applied in a band off to the side uh, maybe on the surface or maybe two inches below the surface and since it is away from the seed uh, we can usually apply a little bit more nutrition with it uh, maybe mixing in some nitrogen or some sulfur uh, but that's key uh, is that uh, we do not in a pop-up situation with the seed or in the seed trench we must limit the amount of P, K, and S that is in that starter blend as to not cause seedling injury. Uh, the other thing, when we think about a pop-up fertilizer, what is our goal here? Uh, our goal is not to supply the nutrition of the crop, but merely apply a amount of fertilizer uh, or amount of fertility, a close proximity to the seed that those very first uh, radical roots will be able to intercept and use as a kind of a boost nutrition as that young plant develops. So a starter, you know, we can apply more, uh, maybe closer to a crop requirement of phosphorus, but certainly not of, of any other plant nutrient. So uh, hopefully that gives you a little bit of idea on what to do with a pop-up versus a starter fertilizer. If you would like to check out the link below, uh, it's a document that provides some more answers and uh, some further guidance on pop-up versus starter fertilizer and what it should and should not have in it.